In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Tombio MBN tool to display a grid map for a species in QGIS and also display an OS backdrop behind it. So I use the MBN tool here from Tombio. And on the filters tab I type in the name of the species I'm interested in. I'm going to use the Perse web spider here. Here's the Perse Web Spider, so I check the box and next to the key above the species I'm interested in, and I'm all set to go. So I'm going to leave this set to 10k squares and just click the species button. So what we'll get down from the MBN now um, is a species distribution map for um, that animal. If I zoom in, you can see it there. But no OS backdrop at the moment. I'm going to delete those layers using this button here. I repeat it, but this time I'm going to have this display OS backdrop on. So I've done exactly the same thing with that on. This time, if you zoom in, you'll see that um, not only we've got the distribution for the species itself, um, but we've got the OS backdrop. Now notice what happens if I click this delete button again. It deletes the species grid map, but it leaves me the OS backdrop on there. So I can display any any data over this, and I just wanted to show you a big uh, a quick trick about saving this as a layer definition file. So if I um, select that layer now, and go up to Layer, Save as Layer Definition File, and I can put this anywhere. I'll just put it in the temp folder for now. But you should have a folder where you keep these definition files, really. And I'm going to call it OS Back. Now let's clear this project as if we were coming in um, to a fresh work session. Take this tool off as well. Uh, I can open my projects, etc. But I can also go to Layer, Add a Layer from Definition Files. This is the same as uh, or similar function to adding a layer, for example, from a vector file. But this time I'll just go to the um, QLR file, which is the one I saved, and this adds that layer in. So it's a quick way of, of keeping uh, the OS backdrop uh, from the MBN as a, almost like a separate layer that you can open. And it, you can obviously save this as part of projects as well. Just showing what happens as you zoom in. So as you zoom in you get more detailed mapping. You can, this will only work of course if you've got uh, an MBN. Um, a internet connection uh, up and running. That's it.